recapture the cauldron. Oh! Hello, friend. Well, this guy's more durable than the last one was. But not much of a fighter. And they're actually worth some experience on their own, too. Oh! Guard breaks. No, yeah, that, that whole attack. Yeah! Oh! I was going for more of a gliding attack, but I forgot that I need to actually be gliding first for that. Oh! Alright, that's a little harder to aim. There we go. How are you guys feeling? It's a sunny day out. You wear your suntan lotion? I mean, you really don't want to get... I mean, cancer is a serious thing. I don't know what the lifespan is for... cauldron soldiers. That was a surprisingly quick time to a uh, reward screen. Score rank and rewards. Once you defeat all the enemies, your performance will be scored on a variety of factors such as your max chain attack, damage received, and length of the battle, and so on. Based on this score, you earn a rank between S and D. Aim for higher ranks since they o uh, award more gold. Your current rank will be displayed at the bottom right of the screen during combat battle. Oh, that's what that little corner thing was. That's useful information too. So this time I got one overkill for 20 points. Took no damage, time bonus. I probably went too slow. All right. Gonna feel a little judged because of that. If it's if it's gonna have a pop up every that frequently about uh my rank. Number of items in possession. You can hold up to 32 items in your bag, but its number will increase so you acquire more uh, new bags throughout your journey. Furthermore, certain items such as mulberry seeds are stored separately, up to nine. So I can only carry nine seeds at a time. This little menu over here, and then magic items. We have ma we have no mandragoras, no seeds, just food. Good old mulberry. Well, I don't really need to heal right now. So I'll suffice. What's the, what's the deal with the shiny down here? There we go. Good to know. If I go here, it'll take me back to the start. That seems rather unuseful. So we'll head over here. I like the map organization, the little mini map, and like the fact that you can. Get a good view of the, the surroundings, and they, they managed to make a 3D world out of a 2D gameplay, basically. Butterflies. A butterfly has appeared. You can absorb the photons using R1 when you're nearby. Gimme! Maybe a little closer. There we go. Those will be worthwhile. Yeah, last game I played like th that had a, this kind of uh, 3D, 2D hybrid thing going on was probably Lone Survivor. Which I, did a whole t I did a full series of that on this channel a long time ago. All in one sitting, actually. And that game had a thing where you were playing 2D, but you uh, had a 3D map of your surroundings, and going through doors was how you navigate things. Oh! Even all these little diagonal platforms are all up here. And the map the map in the corner is a simplified thing that shows you exactly what you can and can't stand on, in case, in case you have any sense of ambiguity about whether or not something's a solid object. So if, if you look at this painting in the background, you're like, why can't I step on that? And you're like trying to figure out what you can go on. The little map in the, on the top of the screen actually indicates exactly what you what what does and doesn't have a hitbox, so you don't have to worry about those kinds of details. That's actually a nice touch that I don't think I've seen before in a game, basically. Which is extra surprising because it was probably in the original game that came out like ten years ago. Hello, friend. Feeling good? Feeling good today? Oh, he's adorable. Well, if you're just gonna guard, <laughs> guess what happens next? Someone over there? Nice to meet you too. The juggle is real in this one. He's trying to guard. Oops. Did my guard break a moment too late. There we go. Oh, hello. I guess you can't just assume they're going to show up in front of you because they're, they're happy to show up behind you too. I could just auto attack, but I'm throwing in random attacks in there for fun. So I'm, I'm kind of randomly jumping around and sliding, not because I think it helps me necessarily, but because uh, mashing square is less exciting. Got another A. I'll just accept that. A. Uh, Griselda's Spear. New text. The peerless spear tipped with a blue, uh, uh, with a blue f cipher? Yeah, right. That's how we sp we're calling that. Uh, with runes inscribed into the grip. It has but one rightful wielder. Ragnanval's first princess and our champion of the Valkyries, Princess Griselda. 
With her display of the spear's might for the king, Princess Griselda's body won the right to lead the, the charge of the Valkyries. For we, who have spent so long in the shadows of the men, she is the lodestar that guides us through the night. Her young mother is already among the stars, but I am sure she must be rejoicing in the heavens. Soon, Princess Gwendolyn will co be called upon to support her sister. I hope she is worthy of the task. Memorandum of a Valkyrie of the... Let's, let's look... Ragnan... Ragnanival. Ragnanival. I'm trying to get straight how, to, how I'm going to pronounce this in the future because I keep stumbling over it. <laughs> Valkyrie of the Ragnanival army. This illustri uh, illustrates their adoration of Griselda. After her death, her sister bore the weight of their expectations. Poor Gwendolyn. She'll just have to rise to the occasion. Or die, I guess. That's also always an option, I suppose. Uh, this goes off to a dead end. The other one goes off towards the rest of the dungeon. Might as well find out. A, it says, oh, two stars. So this is just an increased difficulty, but there'll be even more difficulty straight ahead anyway. And I'll find out what the C means. Hey, hello. Oh, maybe it means I have to get a C in the battle to get, uh, to get access to the uh, potion or something. How you feeling? <laughs> I don't need to ever go down now. I'll just stay up here forever. Seriously, though, I don't need to go down. I don't think I've touched the ground yet. Oh, no. It happened. Tragedy has struck as we hit the ground on accident. There we go. I'm trying to get the, the dash down a little bit. Cyclone. That was a quick one. Is that Max Chain going to help me? Not really, actually. Max Chain only contributed 30 points, so that was not the biggest thing, but I got the completion reward for that little tonic that says C. That's good. Just to review that real quick, the tonics. Oh, no, it's... It, so it's not based on the C scaling, it's based on the fact that it's a cyclone tonic. Creates a tornado of ice that moves forward. Ooh. Interesting that you can just open up a screen and use that kind of stuff. Oh! Right! Right! Because Dragon's Crown always reminded me of playing those old Dungeons & Dragons arcade games where it was a side-scroller with co-op, but every time somebody used a spell, the game would pause and everything. This actually further puts brings that home, because I think that... I think those old D&D side-scrollers games, the Mistara games, uh, they had a radial... they had like a rotating screen like this, where you would open up your spells and they'd... and you'd, you'd rotate through them like this in a circle. I think that's exactly how it works. This game's probably inspired in some way by those games. I also played those on my channel, by the way. The, uh, Chronicles of Mistara HD re-release, or whatever you want to call it. And by HD, I mean it just it rendered in its original resolution, but then in the inside there was... It was framed by nonsense. Those games are really fun, though. They're only like an hour long, though. So there's not a whole lot to them. I went the wrong way. Well, we, at least we can cover a lot of ground by gliding. Alright. Supposed to be able to rest here. So what does that mean in our context? I don't really seem to need hit points. There's an exit. You can warp between checkpoints that you have passed He's, uh, from the touchpad area map. Okay. Oh, the C is a checkpoint. I get it. So I can warp back to the start if I want to. That's the other checkpoint I have access to. Okay. Interesting. Do we have characters around here? Princess Gwendolyn. This base is under our control, but the enemy is stronger than we expected. We've entered a deadlock. How many people are around here? I am here to report that Lord Brigand's troops shall soon arrive. The General has sent us a message to fight strongly. He's so late! What is he doing? Could somebody be up to something underhandedly? Could there be a betrayal coming? Oops! Apparently the right joystick just brings up the map at any given moment. And then you click it to get rid of it. Okay. That's a bit of a surprise. Well, time to immediately forget that the touchpad is supposed to do that, because I'm probably never going to use the touchpad again. I usually forget it exists. I could charge extra since this is a battlefield, but it's very dangerous. I could have nine lives and it still wouldn't be enough. Uh, I'll make you a deal. Alright. 38 gold to spend. We can get an area map. Just a map of the area, no other details. We get some mulberry speeds for less money than it cost me when in my own capital, where I'm the princess. By the way, that's a bit of a surprise. 
It's how you get experience, so it's not the craziest thing to pick up on some of those. There's nothing else going on here. I'll grab a map of the area and a few seeds. Why not? Thank you. Oh yeah, they, they just drop on the floor. An area map. There we go. What kind of stuff can I sell? What is sellable in this game? So I can sell these these tonics back at him for like five gold. Not the most compelling price. And I can I can probably sell the seeds right back to him too for one yeah for one gold. No talking option. Oh, back up there. Hello. Orders from the king. Abandon the base and assault the enemy with all our troops. Hurry! Send the order to attack to all the units! So we're going full aggression here. Do they, do they believe in themselves here? Is that gonna work? Interesting, it's, it's rectangular shaped, but it doesn't seem like I could necessarily go any further in this direction. Oh, okay. So rectangles are straight lines, while circles are, cir are circular levels. The, re the rectangle seems to suggest that it'd be a big rectangle of, of hallways you can walk in, but that's actually just how they they indicate that it's a left or right area. It's only rectangular because they needed a two-dimensional shape to fit the rest, uh, like the word into, like any subtitles they want to put in there. Because a, a straight line would be more confusing looking because it would it'd blend in with the pathways that connect all the areas in the first place. So they, these have a clear starting and ending point. Let's see, I have 25, so I could actually plant some seeds. So why, why don't I do that a little bit? That'll give me access to some healing items. Oops, gotta hold it down longer than that. That'll get, this'll give me access to some healing items and it'll give me access to some experience. There we go, everyone come on back. Might as well stock up, right? Don't want to miss any. There we go. Alright, so now we've got a decent supply. Oh yeah. We now have six mulberry to eat. And they can both uh, level up my character and heal. I'd like to prefer... I'd, I'd, prefer, I'd prefer to wait until they actually are needed for healing. But obviously I want to eat them sooner or later for the experience. Friends. Oh. Cypher skills. Each area contains an item known as a Phozon Prism, which draws out the... Oh. Obtain the Phozon Prism from the treasure chest. You will acquire a corresponding Cypher skill when obtaining a Phozon Prism. You've obtained Phozon Prism. That's my... Oh! They're opening the menu for me. Ice Shot. There we go. So as you can see, you will acquire a Cypher skill whenever you use a Phozon Prism. Furthermore, you can use Phozons to raise skill levels and enhance a skill's efficiency and statistics in this menu screen. This concludes the tutorial for Cypher skills acquiring. Interesting. So, I now have Ice Shot. I think they just gave that to me regardless. Multiple Ice Shots that chase foes. Nice. If you level it up, it gets more damage and more maximum PP. Ice Shot uh, count up. But that requires 25 Phozons. So on top of using Phozons to feed your food, and, and which allows you to uh, get those fruit that level up your character, you also gain access... To, you can also instead use them here on this screen, I believe, to level up your skills. Of course, that would... Of course, we'd learn about that right after I spend some. Alright, so... We'll consider leveling this up in the future. For now, I don't have any more, so I don't... In fact, uh... It seems that you might pick up all of these things, yeah, from specific locations. So there's not necessarily much reason to spend time looking at this tree because they're all they're all items I'm gonna have to find on my own over time. But I, if I if I miss one, this is where I'll find out that that's true. All right, so these will slowly fill in over time. Now the question is, how do I use it? But I'm sure that's what they're about to tell me. Among the cipher skills, active skills are used with L1. Activate Ice Shot with L1. There we go. Activating Ice Shot consumes the PvP gauge and can replenish PvP by absorbing Phozons. Multiple Ice Shots that chase foes. 
You can add frequently used cipher skills to the shortcut entry from a skill activation menu with square. So I can map it to circle, for example. Right there. There we go. This concludes the tutorial for cipher skills activating. Onwards. Mid boss stage. Hello. Where's the where's this mid boss gonna be? Oh, I see him out there. He's a horse monster. Oh, he's coming. Uh, triangle magic poster. Sorry, I, I got distracted by the boss fight. Oh, you can actually see that it hit him from off camera. Like I'm, he's not on camera right now, but because of the, how, how useful the map is, I could actually tell it was reaching him. So I can fire attacks at him from here, and it actually helps out. Sure, why not? Am I out of PP yet? Oh. Where's my PP? Oh, 2 out of 17. There we go. Alright, we're gonna have to go fight him now. Oh my god, you can really glide for a while. Whoop, we lost him. Triangle, ow! Status effect dizzy. You are unable to move at all for a set amount of time. Rapidly press the directional buttons to hasten the healing process. Alright, quickly. There we go, we escaped, I believe. Oh god. He really blindsides me. He's not very durable, is he? Nope. All right, Volcano. Freeze the enemy with a tornado of ice. Triangle. Yeah, I've been a little distracted by the enemy. Trying to read that in real time while I'm being attacked by somebody is a little rough sometimes. Aha! Oh, hello, surprise opponents. This is probably a good time to use that, that cyclone while everyone's directly in front of me, actually. Yeah. That's satisfying. And while I'm at it, let's see the Mulberry. Alright, so now I've got enemy combatants on all sides. Whoops. Got a little caught there. Alright. The additional foes are down. Oh. He's on, a, he's on his way. Where are you going, buddy? Come over here. It's a durable one. So interestingly, they give you a nice big health bar to make you feel like you're accomplishing a lot while you fight him. But his, his real health bar is in the corner over there. The, that tiny pink health bar above his other health bar is the real one. Hello. Oh, PP's too low. So he, he, has, he has a real health bar that's really big, but a, and a fake health bar... Uh, I'm sorry. His real health bar is the long... Is, is shown as a tiny bar, but it's his real health. And they just... They let you appreciate how much damage you're doing, though, by having you... Sh they sh seem to show it like one-third or one-fourth at a time. Which is a nice touch. Because it sucks when you feel like you're doing like a particle of damage. I might have just killed him in midair. Oh, nope, he's not quite down yet. Okay, we're being covered in enemies right now. Might not be the worst time to throw out something like that. Let's see, what's Volcano do? This is a powerful chain of explosions ahead. That sounds like fun. Aha! And then everything was dead, right? Good. We're having a swell time over here. He's gonna land on me. Magic's very satisfying in this game, just like it is in Mi Chronicles of Mistara and uh, Dragon's Crown. Let's absorb. What a masterfully crafted little game. This is neat. Excavation Guide. By order of King Odin, we dwarves have formed exploration teams to find and unearth hidden treasures around the world. Currently, we are tasked with finding foes on prisms, rare ores rich in magic. For the sake of the teams that may follow in our footsteps, I leave this guide. Our monarch expects much of us. We cannot fail him. Search everything. Many treasures are hidden in places you cannot see. You won't find them just walking aimlessly. Be ever vigilant and explore everywhere within your sight. Follow back roads. Find keys to unlock doors. No matter where you go, keep a careful watch. There we go. If it's anything like a Dragon's Crown, I can expect a lot of very, very, very missable and kind of obscure locations for items where I might have to backtrack later to get them. They're telling me about how to open my equipment screen. I've kind of already... Oh, this one. Okay. I can equip the Star Pendant. Plus 10% maximum hit points. There we go. And I'm level 3 because I ate a mulberry while we were in the middle of that fight. We have so many of these now. It's gonna be fun just to open this up in the middle of a combat scenario and just be like, uh, let's see what this does! Haha! <laughs> oh my. 
Okay. This much was revealed when I first started the level, so I thought it was going to be relatively short, but actually, that's all part of the level, too. It's going to go on for a while. Good to know. Okay, so we're that, that's the boss chamber way down there. Got a few little diversions along the way we can follow. Oops. That was a waste of PP. That, uh, unfortunately, was me, uh... <laughs> that was me thinking I could... I'm an idiot. I'm so sorry, everyone. I, I opened the map, and I pressed circle to close it, because that's how you close menus in a lot of games. But, uh, that's not how the map works in this game, so I, I casted magic and wasted it. Good job. Good job. Let's look for any sparkles. I'm trying to keep an eye out for sparkles, because that's one of the hidden... the ways they had hit items so far. Whoa. Accidental activation of, a, like, a critical combo. There we go. Just grabbing a few things. Um, don't see much- Oh, there's something way up there. Oh, having some trouble landing on hitboxes here. I keep gliding on accident, which actually makes it a little hard to land. There we go. What do you have for me? A little more money, but this- Wasn't there something else up here? Oh, I thought it kept going up here. Is it gone? Maybe I imagined that? I thought I saw something way up there. No, not much going on around here. Onwards. Friends. Uh oh. And then Murd. Oh, I don't have enough mana. He's getting all ready to cast. Well, they're just all standing in a line, so I guess I'll just take advantage for a bit. I saw you blocking. No escape now. They got obliterated. Let's go back for that chest. Oh, S rank, nice. Cultivating fruit. The foes on absorbing plants of Arion can sprout in even the most desolate of lands. Theirs is the fruit of life, giving vitality to those that partake. It is the secret to longevity. If you wish to reap the benefits of the fruit, you need only find seeds and grow them for yourself. The more nutritious the fruit, the more phosons it will require. Recommended for beginners, the mulberry bears two fruits using minimal phosons, while the muggle bear fruits and seeds. Once you are used to the process, you can try grapes, which increase health, and naples, or napples, which are quite popular ingredient in snacks. Cyclone! I'm gonna have to start using stuff soon, because I'm gonna probably cap out soon. Bag's at 16 slots. Hopefully I don't ever walk out of the room without picking up my loot. That would be very disappointing, both to, for me and, uh... Well, a lot of people will remind me how disappointed they are in me when it happens, too. So I can go straight to the boss fight from here, practically, by going through the rest zone, but I'm curious about what I'm gonna find around here. We'll check out the two side areas as best I can. Ooh! No hiding for me. Just a little bit of money. But it's mine. That's the important part. Um... There must be a way to get up here. Yep. Exactly what's going on here. Can I keep going? Yeah! It's an unmarked exit. And we got a crystal. So we'll get a new skill. That's a big deal. And I can now- I now have enough, uh, crystals to level things up, too. So what do we get? The beak- beak drive. Pow. You unlock the cipher skill that consumes pow. Pow will automatically accumulate over time. Ooh. A different resource. That's good. Having skills that use two different resources is a big deal for me. A multi-hit dash attack piercing through foes. Cool. If it's a piercing attack, I would probably want to map that to forward with circle, because then that- that's how I would- my brain would interpret using that skill anyway. Let's go ahead and level it up with some Fozons. Boom. That'll give it more attack and, and it'll give us more max BP. Ooh. It increases its ability to knock people down if I put 60 in there. Alternatively, I could go further into beat down over here. I mean, ice shot. Beat down looks like it's marked, but it's all the way up there. Uh... One attack, one max PP. It also just gives me more, uh... Is it leveling me up, too? I mean, it's gonna increase the number of ice shots. That's, that's, hel that's helpful. I'll level things evenly for now, and we'll just see... Uh, what pays off the most in the future. 
I'm having fun. This is a cool game. Okay, so... I believe my just my actual stats are increasing, basically, even though my main level's not. So there's like a really weird hybrid leveling system going on here. Can I save at any time? Looks like I can. Okay. So the game will re request you, request to save every now and then, but I can save whenever I feel like to. Alright, yeah, this was, this was a game worth remaking, wasn't it? I might have never gotten to play it otherwise, because uh, it's kind of hard to play PS2 games without a PS2. Due to lack of backwards compatibility for most games. This is where somebody chimes in and says that it's on the PlayStation Network, which is totally possible. I genuinely don't know if it's if that's the case. Uh, we're gonna... Oh no! I did it again. I need to train myself not to do that. I keep opening the map and then trying to leave it with the... Uh, cancel the, the universal cancel button. So this is the location of a big scary four-star fight. Let's find out. It's training for the real boss, right? Oh, it's another horse guy? That's a bit of a surprise. Just gonna blow up your general direction if you don't mind. Alright. This'll be fun. Dash! 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 <laughs> Got you. <laughs> you miss me? I hit the boss somewhere in there, but not a whole lot. Just give me my stuff. Where's this boss hiding? He's gonna charge me. It's gonna ke catch me off guard, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Good job. Oh, that was out of range. Tragic. Oops. That's what I get. I tried to get behind it so I wouldn't get hit by that. That was wrong. Oh, wow, that really hits you when you're behind him. Okay. I question the design process of that particular hitbox, but that's fine. <laughs> I love you, Minimap. There we go. That Minimap is vital for playing this game. Oh, wow, he knew I was above him. Oh, never mind. He was probably summoning people. This'll hit- this'll hit somebody over there. What a satisfying game. In fact, I think I like- I think- I think this game might be better than Dragon's Crown. Dragon's Crown kind of devolves into a weird mess. Also, I think 2D side-scrolling is oftentimes better than- I think pure 2D side-scrolling is often better than trying to do a, uh, 2.5D Turtles and- like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles system. Things get, things get awkward if you can move up and down a little bit, oftentimes. Explode! Just this general direction. That really hit the boss exclusively. Just avoid his attacks. Ow! Where's the... Okay, the boss is not currently charging. He's sort of hanging out. There we go. Alright, you coming this way, boss? I can see you hanging out over there. Whoa! Okay. Okay, this is another case of where the minimap really helps. Ow. This minimap's fantastic. What, a, what? That's actually like a genius compromise, is that we get a nice zoomed-in screen so that you can appreciate the art, and the game feels really good, but then you have a nice minimap that gives you silhouettes that are super clear to, to interpret. That's really good. There's so many games, like, say, a Sonic the Hedgehog, that are way too zoomed in so that you can't really see what you're doing properly half the time and it's a kind of bad gameplay. But if they zoom but they don't and they, they they would it'd be better to zoom out so that people can see what they're doing, but they don't want to zoom out because then the art suffers. So this is actually a really genius hybrid system here. Cause the uh unlike most minimaps, it's not I'm not just a little triangle that bounces around and fights other triangles up there. I can actually see my full character model with simplified animations and a silhouette. So, like, when those whirlwinds were coming by, I was just playing the game by looking at the, the silhouette up there for the moment. Like, you're looking at your targeting computer on your X-Wing or something like that. And, like, the result there is... That I, I got the chest ready, right? I hope. Like, it's, it's like you're looking at a targeting computer, basically. Like, it's actually, like, you can perfectly tell what's going on, and you can actually play by exclusively looking at that part of the screen without having to look at the main part of the screen. So, like, you're not missing out on information necessarily by making the mistake of looking at that part of the screen. In fact, there's two maps on the screen at once to make it so clear where you are. And I'm failing to capitalize on, on that by constantly going in the wrong direction on circular levels. But, uh, that's, that's a me problem. Anything up here? I'm looking for your hidden items. 
the little, the little levitates are fairly satisfying too. At least when I activate it on purpose, because sometimes I very much don't do it on purpose. There's something hanging out over here. Hello. Your butterfly shall be mine. I claim it. Friend? Thief? No? Maybe friend. Okay. I thought it was gonna be- uh, Oh, yeah! I was thinking it'd be the enemy thieves that try to steal stuff from you in the D&D games, but it, it's probably a, it might be a similar role to the, the thief character that actually helps you out and opens doors for you in uh, Dragon's Crown. I'm neutral in this war. I'm just a businessman. In this bloodstained land, the stakes are high, but the profits are higher. So it's just a vendor in this case. Okay. I get, ooh, shield ring. 5% chance to nullify damage taken. Nice. 10 hit points. Item drop rate multiplies by 1.3. I don't know if that's an equipment item, though. That might just be a uh, consumable. Oh, no. It gives you three defense. So it must be an equipment item, then. I only have 57. So I can only buy one. Let's invest in item drop. That, that, that's 1.3 is actually a significant percentage. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. It's really, there's something really uh, concerning about how they just drop it on the ground like that though. Oh, I did it again. My poor broken brain. So this is just a checkpoint location. That'll let you go between these three spots. Nice fast travel. That's appreciated, but not what I'm here for. Okay, so let's equip our Lux Stone. So now we have a... M oh. Oh no, I already had one? Uh, I guess I can just stack them. Whoops. Should have checked that first. It happens. I could plant more seeds if I want to. We could also level up stuff. Oh, right. There's so many things going on this early in the game that I... Oh, damn it. Whoops. Uh, one day I'll learn how to not be stupid. Uh, I got distracted with all those stuff going on here. I forgot to map my... Right, we do use L1 for that. There's a lot of menus all of a sudden. Here we go, peak beak dive. There we go, look at that. So we'll, we'll map that to forward and circle. That'll get some use out of me. There we go. Keep that in mind for later. I wish I hadn't just blown half my resources, but it happens. I keep using my magic on accident. Thankfully, I now have attacks that use two different meters, so that'll compensate a little bit. We're about to go into a boss chamber, so might as well just pop that save. Here we go. Made a few flubs here and there, but we're learning still. This game throws so many things at you, it's easy to forget little details like, Oh yeah, I just learned how to use a new skill, didn't I? We'll see if I take proper damage during this fight, it might give me a chance to uh, apply these... Oh, they're recommending that I save, which I just did. Uh, yes, I want to challenge him. But yeah, I'll try to save as we go along. I mean, I'll try to use these healing items to level up, but in a situation where I actually need the health. I have a report, your highness. The Aesir have launched an all-out assault. They are attacking our headquarters with all their soldiers. The paladins fight valiantly, but tis only a matter of time till they are overrun. Odin. I see he risks his own life with this strategy of his. Here are your orders. Quickly, call back the troops from the front line and attack them from behind. Use everything we have. Attack from both sides and annihilate them. Our king is bestowed with divine grace. Prepare yourself, queen of the ghosts. King Odin's daughter Gwendolyn shall be the one to take your life. So, you call me a ghost? The Demon Lord's daughter is bold indeed. <laughs> it seems that my reinforcements have arrived. It's about time, sorcerer. Your Majesty, my sincerest apologies for my tardiness. Come, Belial, my faithful dragon. Let us put this to the test. Do you still dare to speak so impudently before my mighty dragon?
Time for a dragon fight. Chapter five. Act I mean, chapter one, act five. Raging Dragon, Belial. Oh, that's a reoccurring name in various games. Yep. Oh. I'm behind you now. What are you gonna do about that? Huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Oh, get behind her. Get behind him. He's about to do something over there. Don't want to be over there for that. Oh, I'm out of pow and mana right now. Although pow does come back pretty quickly. Oh, hello. Let's not get hit by that, huh? There we go. Guess I'll just keep attacking back here. Ooh, blaze. Oh no, he has taken my blaze it potion. Uh, I probably should not be on this side of him, actually. Can I dodge through him? Nope, not necessarily. Oh, so far I don't think I've taken damage. So I'm not super afraid of this guy, to be honest. Oh, he looks like he's falling down. Oh! Oh no! That's probably bad. Oh, uh, he ate me. Actually did not take much damage from that. Okay. Oh no! No, no, no. Okay. Gonna have to work on a way to escape that, or it's gonna start hurting me. Ooh! Escaped. Final hit bar, and I believe this is the final health bar. I prefer to stay behind him when I can. Uh oh. What's gonna happen now? Oh, I can see the mound that he's. I can see his mound on the min, on the mini map. These are his junk piles, I believe. Oh. Almost got him. There we go. It's <laughs> a really satisfying attack. Oh, it doesn't go through him though, so it can't be used that same way. Taking a chunk out of him right now, huh? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, just a few more hits. Oh, he has one more health bar. My bad. No. Nope. Dodge away. There we go. That's how, that's how I get away. Do my air dash. This is a satisfying attack, by the way. He's down. I may have been, I may have outclassed him a little bit. <laughs> King Odin, please rejoice. The enemies are retreating. It seems that it is finally over. Have brigand's troops hunt down any remaining enemy forces? Go. Inform all our soldiers of our victory. Sound the horn, and allow them to celebrate our glory. Now, leave me. King Odin. Yes, there it is. The crystallization cauldron. Fairies have kept it hidden for so long. Oh. Do you see this mysterious light? Now it is finally mine. This power will grant me victory in any battle. What's happening? Oh no! What happened to the glow? The cauldron's light has gone out! Do you know where my father... where I may find the king? The king is with the crystallization cauldron. What? Who goes there? What are you doing here? These stupid battles all over again. Cauldron is a source of disaster. I will not allow the crystallization cauldron to be used any further. Not by you, nor by the Queen of the Fairies. Wait!
new ability. What's our third new ability going to be? Needle strike. And we're forking outwards. I wonder what the connecting path to mean. I can't buy this, can I? Yeah, you can't buy it. I wonder if you need the adjoining ones to get to them or not. Or maybe these ones, maybe there's ones out here you can just get. No? Ooh. Ooh, you can level up the cipher itself. Interesting. Bonus attack and MP for the weapon that I'm actually using. But everything else seems to be that something you have to obtain. I assume that these individual clusters must be based on uh, what where it is in the map. Like if they're all separate sections or something. So this ability, series of furious stabs that are thrust forward. All right. So it's instead of being a dash, it's just a series of uh, almost like a rapier strike, basically. Costs 35% of POW as opposed to 30. The core difference being that you can't multiply uh, 35 by 3 to get anything less than 100. So this could be used three times in a row and have 10% over. This thing can be used twice, and then you have to wait a little bit. So the pace is a little different there at that point. All right. Absolutely, I'm going to save my progress. I think I really like this game, you guys. 